this. Right, is there any cars coming? There's no point in talking to you, is there? <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna, I swear every single video I start with, I'm just gonna move the camera. <laughs> Okay, so for those people that are really observant, I've changed my glasses and I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, I'm gonna put my seat back a little bit. Is that better? Yeah, it's better. So how are you? Um, I am all right. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm pretty good. I have promised myself to do one of these videos every single week and I did do one. For last week I didn't upload it <laughs> so what I should promise myself is to do a video and to upload it because um yeah I didn't let myself down as such because I did follow my own orders but yeah I should perhaps be a bit more specific to myself um I I'm okay so yesterday was lovely so it was the bank holiday and I went over Devon for the day so I live in Dorset so Devon from me in a reasonable car although I hate slagging off my car especially in my car but in a reasonable car I'm so sorry but Ben's my car I'm so sorry but yeah in a reasonable car it takes like two hours but in my car because he struggles up hills it takes closer to three so I drove essentially three hours there, saw one of my closest friends, Sophie, for, I don't know, four or five hours, and then I drove back. I actually planned on doing a video when I came back, but I was so tired, and I just literally, all I wanted to do was to get home. So it would have just been footage of me going, I really want to go home, I want to go home. I really want to go out and that's not benefiting anyone so not to say that these videos benefit anyone but at least I've got something to say um I yeah so I had a wonderful time uh Sophie and I what did we do we went shopping in Lidl <laughs> that was a whole new experience for me um as Sophie said she did a little bit of shopping <laughs> which <laughs> I fucking loved and I'm gonna be using all the time should I ever be seen in Lidl. And what else? Oh, I had jack of potatoes and beans. So whilst beans is a nightshade vegetable. I, oh, I'll tell you about this. I don't know whether I said it in my other video. I may have done. I'm trying to limit light shade vegetables because I don't think it's wheat. I think it's light shade vegetables because I've done so much research about eczema diets and the one thing that keeps coming up over and over and over and over again are nightshades. So nightshades, I'm sure you already know, but in case you don't, they are um, tomatoes, aubergines. Yeah, I definitely did speak about this in my last video, so I'm so sorry that I'm repeating myself, but aubergines, uh, tomatoes, peppers, um, chilies, which is bullshit because I love spicy food, and uh, la, 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 la. oh, and potatoes. However, interestingly, in all of the eczema documents that says that whilst potatoes are a nightshade, most of it, what makes it a nightshade is the chemicals which it emits from like the cooking process or that it's naturally in the food itself. So, whilst potatoes are a nightshade by definition, most of the chemicals as it were or hormones I don't know would you say hormone no it's chemicals um most of like the nightshade particles properties there properties um most of the nightshade properties are in the skin so if you take the skin off it's fine um so yesterday I did have jacket potato and I did eat the skin and I did have tomatoes because I had baked beans because they're fucking delicious and Sophie made the best fucking salad ever known to man and it had blueberries and grapes in it oh it was just stunning um so it was it was lovely but my skin was actually really good yesterday and it had been good for about two days prior when I tried to at least limit um not so much necessarily remove because it is because you know food's food and sometimes it's unavoidable but limit and my skin was actually really good um, but yesterday I did eat quite a few nightshades and my skin's 
it's okay like it's not bad but it's not as good as it was yesterday and my eyes are quite red um so i think i might be onto something i don't think it's wheat because the thing is you know when you have pasta like your go-to pasta sauce tends to be nine times out of ten it tends to be that's so close isn't it oh that's better it tends to be like tomato based sauces so i don't think it's because when i had an allergic reaction i just assumed oh it's wheat it's it's uh it's obviously the wheat i didn't think it could be the tomatoes I think it could be that and it makes me happy because if this means I can eat bread on the regular then my life is fucking made so that makes me incredibly happy so today I'm gonna limit nightshades and eat all of the fucking wheat that I want my heart desires and we will see what happens and um, it's so dark isn't it I can't wait for summer to like truly kick in, like literally. Uh, so I'm going to work and it, it, actually I'm not running too late, she says. Uh, next, this weekend rather, so this weekend, well so the next time you see me I'm going to be super buff and I know what you're thinking. Well, Emma, you already are. Stop it. But, um, so next weekend, I am... Why are all of these cars, like, right on my ass? I'm not doing anything wrong. Um, yeah, next weekend, I'm helping my friend move. And we're moving from, like, whilst it's in the same county, it's like... It's at the arse end of one another. Probably the least attractive picture that I have got on my Instagram but I kept it up and I'm going to keep it up because it's the first time I had Tiger Green Curry I need to document that shit obviously and how is my week looking this week I can literally I don't think I have anything to say to you oh god it's so disappointing that my life is so dull um mm. I have no idea. What do I say? Uh, I can tell you that I'm tired. I'm always tired. I can tell you that... Um, is there anything in particular that I have got to say to you? No. Not at all. Not at all. Um, for those people that don't know, I'm sure you know, you probably don't, but I have been vegan for about, it's five years in October, so it's quite a long time, um, and 
throughout that process, as you can see from like my older videos, like I was a bigger girl and I was never fat. I've never been like particularly, I don't think I've ever, no, I've never been obese. I've never been like huge, but I have been a big girl at some point. Um, and my videos, like whilst I was, I certainly wasn't at my biggest, it does document that. Um, but it's weird that... <sighs> this is going to sound really self-centred, but then I suppose I am talking to myself out in a camera, so how much more self-centred can I possibly be? Um, I... It's the first time on a vegan diet that I've... I've managed to lose weight and keep it off. Um, and not to say that I'm at my ideal weight, because I'm not. I've probably got about, mm, I don't know, 10 pounds to go. Maybe seven, maybe, maybe half a stone. But I'm certainly nearing there. And I think my current weight, it's the same weight that I was. Ah. Excuse me. When I was 17. Yeah, same weight that I was at 17, which was at my smallest. And I feel fitter now because I like do rock climbing, so, although I haven't been for two weeks, so that's disgusting. But I think the point is, is that I kind of understand how to lose weight on a vegan diet because I think initially, when you say vegan, you think, oh, well, naturally, you know, they are slimmer. No. There are a lot of fat vegans, like there's no two ways about it. I was one of them. Um, and I kind of felt like I was letting the movement down. Like it was so weird. I just didn't look how everybody expected me to look. And I don't think I look how people expect me to look now, but I certainly am nearing to that. Um, and it's so weird expectation, isn't it? It's just so bizarre. But I feel, I feel like I get it and I think the biggest thing for me was that it did take me five years to get there. <laughs> Despite the fact I, I knew I needed to do it, I just wasn't ready. I just needed to limit oil. Like that was literally what I needed to do. Needed to do. Um, I said that really weirdly then. But yeah, I just needed to limit oil. Almost eradicate it from my diet. So, yeah. Oh, I'm headed into the pool now. So that is me. So me in a nutshell, I'm losing weight. Great. I saw my friend in Devon. Wonderful. And I'm gonna look like Arnold Schwarzenegger by Monday. So that's my life. This is the short, I thought for a second there, it wasn't even a recording. I was like, did you see my face? <laughs> like sheer panic on my side so when I have a moment I am gonna say goodbye but before I do I want to uh, excuse me um I want to say I don't really know who watches these videos I I know a few a few of my friends do I don't really know so if you do watch my videos hello welcome and I am um, just let me know what you're up to let me know what you're doing and I will see you next week see ya bye